Hello coders, I welcome you all. In this video, we are going to discuss CRUD operation on MySQL database with Python. CRUD stands for Create, Read, Update and Delete. The four basic operations that can be performed on a database. These operations are essential for managing data in MySQL. So let's explore CRUD operation with examples. So let's get started. To discuss this CRUD operation on MySQL database with Python, we are going to use PyCharm and MySQL Workbench. So let me first import MySQL dot connector library, which helps us to establish a connection to our MySQL server. This one, if you haven't installed this library, let me show you this how to install it. So first you have to click on this terminal and you have to write pip install my SQL hyphen connector hyphen Python. Let me press enter. I have already installed this library. So requirement already satisfied for me, but it will take some time to install. So this way you can install this library MySQL dot connector. So now our step number one connect to the MySQL database. So for that, let me write MySQL dot connector dot connect. And here we have to pass host. In our case, it is local host. So let me pass IP address of local host 127.0.0.1 and user in my case root this one let me click on this here you can see user root and also have given password that I am going to pass here so now let's create my cursor object so for that let me write con let me assign it to one variable con is equal to this statement so here we have to write this object dot cursor and let me assign it to one variable my cursor you can use any so once we have this object using this my cursor object we can execute mysql queries so here exception can occur so let me write these statements into try let's write confirmation message connection established you can write any other message in accept let me print one message connection error let me check let me run this code as you can see over here message connection established so now we have successfully connected with our server this one so this way we can create cursor object so as i said once we have this object using this my cursor object we can execute mysql queries so this is our step number one connect to the mysql database that we have successfully completed so now our next step so here we are going to create a database so for that let me use my cursor object this one dot execute so using this execute method we can execute mysql queries so let me write create database you can give any name let me use crud underscore python and we have to write like this and we have to write connect this one this object dot commit so commit is a method used to commit the current transaction to the database so why need to do this so when we execute mysql statements that modify the data in a database such as insert update or delete statements the changes are not automatically saved to the database instead they are buffered in memory until we explicitly commit them to the database using this commit method so that's why here we have to commit the transaction and we modify the data in a database so let me write confirmation message using this print function database created let me run this code as you can see over here connection established and we have successfully created a database let me check let me press this refresh button as you can see over here crud underscore python means our database is successfully created that you can see over here crud underscore python so this way we can create a database so now our next step now we are going to create a table in our created database crud underscore python so we are going to create a table having columns like id name email and age so let me use my cursor object dot execute and here i am going to use multi lines so let me use triple quotes and let me write create table and here we have to give table name that we want to create let me use name customers and let me write id as integer and also as a primary key name where care 50 and it must be not null email where care again 50 and not null age integer now let's commit the changes to the database using con dot commit and let's confirm the table creation let me write print 
table is created. So we have already created this database. So let me comment these statements and let me run this code. So here I forget to end this execute method. Let me run this code once again. As you can see here, error, no database selected. As you can see here, we are having many database. So we have to select one. So here, let me write database is equal to crud underscore Python is one. And let me execute this code once again. As you can see here, connection established and table is created. Let me check. Let me refresh this schemas as you can see over here. Let me click on this as you can see over here our table is successfully created with columns id name email and age that you can see over here so this way we can create a table that you can see over here so we have successfully completed our step number three so now our step number four in this step we are going to insert new records into our created table customers so again let's use my cursor object dot execute again we have to write multiple lines. So that's why here I am going to use triple quotes. And let me write insert into customers values. So we have to insert record for these columns. So let me copy and let me paste it over here. And values. Let me enter first record. One name, Anil, email address. Let me write Anil at the rate gmail.com. And age 40. So this is our first record that we want to insert. Let me copy this and let me create second record. Let me create third record. So ID two and three. Let me change name to Rahul and Rahul at the rate gmail.com age 24. Let me enter name Parshwa and Parshwa at the rate gmail.com with age 34. And let me write connect dot commit. Commit the changes to the database. And let me write confirmation message. Those are inserted. And let me run this code. As you can see here, connection established and rows are inserted. Let me check as you can see over here. So we have successfully created new records into our table customers that you can see over here. So we have successfully insert new records into our created table customers. So now our next question here, we are going to perform a read operation. Second operation of CRUD. First, we have created our database and one table into it. Now, in CRUD operation, this is our second step, read. And we are going to select data from a table. So let me write my cursor object dot execute. And let me write select star from customers. And to fetch all the rows, the result set, we have to write my cursor dot fetch all. And let me assign it to one variable, my result is equal to this statement. Let me print my result. We have already inserted this many records into our created table customers. So let me comment this statements and let me run this code as you can see over here. Python tuple inside Python list. So let me print it in proper format using for loop. So for x in my result and let me print x. Let me run this code as you can see over here. This is at index zero. This is at one, two and three. Suppose if you are interested to fetch only names, then here we have to write X index zero. Let me run this code once again. Sorry at index one, this ID at index zero. Let me execute this code once again, as you can see over here. So this way we can fetch any record that you can see over here. So this way we can perform read operation that you can see over here. So now our next step, third step of CRUD update. We are going to update data in a table that we have created customers. So let me write my cursor dot execute and let me use update query update customers and I want to set age 40 where customer ID equal to one. Here we are going to update our table. So again, we have to commit, commit the changes to the database and let me write confirmation message updated. Let me run this code as you can see over here updated. Let me comment these statements and let me read our table once again. Let me execute this code once again. Let me remove this and let me run this code once again. As you can see over here, age is updated where ID is equal to one, this one. So we have successfully updated our record that you can see over here. So this way we can update a data in a table that you can see over here. So now our next step, delete. 
we are going to delete data from a table which is fourth step of CRUD create read update and delete so here we are going to delete data from a table so again let me use cursor dot execute and let me write delete from customers where ID is equal to one I want to delete record where ID is equal to one again we have to commit the changes and let me write confirmation message deleted let me run this code as you can see over here particular record is deleted let me comment this and let me run this code once again as you can see over here record is deleted where ID is equal to one so this way we can perform CRUD operation with MySQL using Python that you can see over here create read update and delete that you can see over here hope you like this video please don't forget to subscribe this channel if you like this video smash that like button thank you very much for watching this video take care bye bye see you in the next video